something that you can eat every single day and not get tired of. Aww. Not you, the cake, you f***ing weirdo. Nobody wants to eat that sh give me, Give me the cake. Really? Yeah, really. Give me, give me the cake. No. This man's appetite is only for the chocolate cake. My boyfriend told me, Saturdays are cheat day so I got us some desserts. Gotcha, bitch! Alright guys, this is a little trick when your Latino girlfriend is mad at you. Oh, you gotta... There's no fixing this. I was gonna say, do you wanna go eat? Do you want to go to that 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 taco food truck that's right here in the corner? Yeah. <laughs> She's just hangry, right? She ain't angry. Yeah, go and try it. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I got to try it. But I got to tell you guys, the trick is only invite them to wherever you want to go. Let's go. I was like 16, 17. We was at the club. My uncle told me, stop looking at that bitch that you want and start looking at that little funny looking bitch in the corner just looking at you because that woman finna do everything for you. That woman gonna turn mountains into molehills. The woman that you want gonna turn molehills into mountains. The value that a woman brings to the table makes her bad to me. So the looks ain't even gonna be the first thing. Y'all put that before everything. I'm putting what a woman's doing for me before everything. You could call me what you want, but the you see with me, she doing something for me. She ain't giving me no problems. This woman treating you like a god. Yeah. So she bad to me. I don't give a what she looks like. I could get her lips done, her face done, her uh, teeth done, her teeth done. I could get all that done. Everybody want a bad bitch. Why? I want to treat me right. Because your life would be hell with a who look good but giving you problems every two seconds. I can't live like that. What do looks do for me? It gives me some status when I go out and other dudes see me with you. And if I don't give a f about the opinions of others, then really I just got dead weight sitting here. However you treat me is your status to me. She a 10 because she treat me right. And that's what more dudes should be having that in their mind instead of I just want the baddest. Well, to redefine what bad is to you. Yeah, I gotta say, it's real as fuck. I'm actually looking for that right now. And when I look at my past, I had a couple girls there, probably like sixes or sevens, but they were such good people. I was too young, though. I was in San Diego at the beach. I was trying to run the field. I was trying to hit a 10. And I did. I hit a few. They're a pain in the ass. Fucking Andrew Tate says, if you want a Ferrari, it's going to come with some problems. That applies to the girls, too. So now I'm just looking for peace of mind. And pff, a six is what's up. Where you at? I wake my husband up with a massage and coffee every single morning and every single night I'm scratching his um, scalp and like giving him a back massage until he falls asleep. It's important that he falls asleep first. And I would say something that's romantic that he does for me. Well, since I do all of the cooking, it's nice when he takes me out for dinner because it's like a, a little break and it's just special. And then also even just while we're here in Miami, he's kind of like my little bodyguard, like making sure if there's any men walking by, he just like puts his arm around me and just making sure that I'm protected. That's what it's really romantic and that's something that a woman could never do for a man. Little wispy phantom beard is better than mine. Damn. Alright guys, I'm a bearded brother. I got a thick ass beard. If you guys want to get a beard, you just gotta keep shaving it. That's it. Just keep shaving it. Most women want daddies, not husbands. Let me explain. So many women on this app love to preach that men only want mommies. A lot of women on this app will say that they want a man to pay all of their bills. They want them to show up emotionally. They want them to show up 24 seven. They want them to give them princess treatment. They want to be treated like gold, essentially like their dad would treat them if they have good fathers. They want the men in their lives to fix all of their shit be their caretaker but on top of that on top of all of the things that men are already responsible for now these women are crying about domestic labor so they want the men to also do all of the laundry do most of the cooking while simultaneously working 60 hours and most of the time that's still not good enough so if he is cooking cleaning doing your laundry providing for you taking care of your emotional needs then what the hell are you doing Probably sitting on social media for six hours a day, not really accomplishing anything like a teenage daughter, hence the daddy daughter dynamic. And some of these women can get all of that and princess treatment and throw little tantrums when they don't get their way by giving the silent treatment and thus continue the father daughter dynamic instead of wife and husband. But that's right. That's right. Men are only looking for mommies, not wives. Okay, bye. Damn. How many y'all dealing with this shit right now? Fuck, if y'all need some help, I'm watching the comments.
let us know. What's the point of us spending this money if you're not going to use it, you f***ing dickheads? Hey, the lager's not going to have a chat. F*** off, f***ing idiot. Use the f***ing bike track, you dumb cunt. I sacrificed my health, I sacrificed my friend groups, I sacrificed my family, I sacrificed my sanity, I sacrificed every every single part of my life, I sacrificed. But it, I look back now and I'm grateful that I did. Do you come from money? No. I don't even know if coming from money is a benefit. Those poor guys get stripped of the beautiful experience of generating money. Think how sad that is. Think if you woke up, Andrew Tate said this one time, could you imagine being a sheik where money is irrelevant, you could have anything on the planet, you could buy any of these hotels, like what a horrible horrible feeling that you don't get that amazing dopamine rush of working hard for something, seeing the results, and then being able to go out and spoil yourself. Those guys got stripped of that on the day they were born. There's value in not coming from money. Majority of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. What keeps people broke in today's world? Politics keeps people broke. Football keeps people broke. All the distraction keeps people broke. Alcohol keeps people broke. Think about that. Every Sunday there's 75,000 fans times however many football games going on at a time. They love it. On Monday they wake up, they can barely, barely make it to work. So all that distraction, it, in my opinion, it's all designed to numb out society, numb out ambition, and just keep people being content waking up and going to work from nine to five, from nine to five. Think about this, when you put some guy in the wilderness with no distractions and no alcohol, no nonsense, and no resources, you come back six months later, the fucking guy's built a fort, he's got fucking games, he's got a way to fish, he's got a way to get clean water. That's the true, authentic being of a human. We are creators by default. This might be the top five best messages that we've ever had on the channel you know i've talked to my friends about that because sometimes i feel a little bit discouraged about being in the middle class and well they have this attitude that they could never make it and i'll tell you right now if you have the attitude you'll never make it you will never make it but if you have the attitude that you will you certainly will so it is quite a reward because i came from the middle class from nothing i've lost everything i had and had to regain it again which is sort of typical for entrepreneurs especially in the early stages and uh, it's been an awesome ride. It's been a great time. He's right. Like what happened to me is I got addicted to self-development. I got addicted to winning. And now I don't want to drink. I don't want to waste my time. All I want to do is plan out the next thing and make my dream become a reality. That makes me feel so good. That's such a deep, crazy award feeling that you get. And uh, I don't think a lot of people get it because they're distracted or because they talk shit on themselves or give up before they even start. But this life is one chance and you could literally do anything with your life. And for me, I wanted to become extremely wealthy, but not be famous, not be recognized. So I could enter people's lives and they wouldn't even know who I was and I could fix all their problems with my money. It's been a huge goal of my life and I'm pretty much to the point where I've been able to do it a couple times this year alone. So, uh, you know, you need to really think about your life and what you want and then stop dogging yourself out and acting like everything's a problem and a burden because like he said, being born in the middle class was an opportunity to reach different levels of dopamine to become a man and if you're born into the money, you have been robbed of the experience but you don't hear the people in the middle class looking at, like, looking at it like that. So it's very important to change the way you're looking at the way things are. All right, guys. Say they want a metal girlfriend, but when she listens to music like this, they say, Oh, no, 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 she's scary. Damn, why do I like the metal chicks? I gotta get checked out. If I don't look like a man and I look like a woman, uh huh, how does that make a man? gay because gay means they a like penis. a man you it's have not, a that's penis the last, that's the it's last not about thing the, i'm with her for Try i'm not saying that you no, but you just said you like to be topped that don't make me gay what does that it make you, you sexual i think we all know what that means right i swear to god i would have boyfriends and never post them once like i was like i will hide you till the day i die because i didn't want to share that i had a boyfriend because i like wanted to still like see if there was other options out there for me I know this is hot, like toxic and horrible to say. Everyone, <laughs> keep on moving on. Shush. Yeah, you already know. If she don't post you, she's fitting to toast you. Let me tell you something.
something, right? If you focus on results, you will never change. But if you focus on change, you will always get good results. And don't forget that shit, you heard? And don't forget that shit, you heard? You got a Jesus sticker. I'm sorry. I'm please, Lord, help, help, help my sister in Christ in front of me because why well, y'all get your fire money? It's fine. It's fine. I'm always late to work anyway. Hi, I'm Bloody J. I'm an addict. Molly, lean, we, yes, I got you happy. I'm running through this circuit. Will I make it? Damn, when a dolphin gives you a starfish, that's got to be like the biggest gift. That's dope. Why is it always the broke ass women that got the most to say about broke ass dudes this and broke ass dudes that and broke men don't have anything to offer? Meanwhile, these are the same women that use their last dollar to take an Uber to some Netflix and chills guys house because they don't even have a car. Make that make sense. The same women that are preaching independent this and independent that and they pay their own bills are the ones that are on government assistance, getting money from their baby daddies, having their parents pay their freaking way. Meanwhile, claiming they do it all. These are the same women that don't have a 401k, that don't have a savings account, that have nothing to offer a man. And the only reason that she doesn't want to go 50-50 is because that man's bills is more than she makes in a month, even at 50-50. Because a real woman that is secure, that has her finances together and that is financially responsible is not talking about broke ass this and broke ass that and what is he going to do for me and what is he going to give to me and what gifts is he going to buy me? Like, obviously, if you're only making $12 an hour for 20 hours a week at a part-time job, there's no way that you can come in and even pay 50% on a $400 bill. That's going to be like your whole freaking check. Oh, she out here cooking with no grease, but I don't see not one lie told. Let me tell you something. Women out here that's getting money from dudes, that's really getting money out here from dudes, that's out here finessing dudes. You ain't on no podcast, no video, talking about every chance you get. Yeah, you about to finesse a dude once or twice in your life, but you ain't out here consistently getting no money from no dude if you out here talking about broke this or broke that. And, yeah, you're just saying that because that's how you really are. You live in your life, and you're supposed to be in you know, bed with you. You got a nerd to be out here calling me and broke your main bank account is cash yet. Funny part about it is, y'all sit there talking about, oh, I'm getting money from this dude, but you ain't found nobody to keep you. Not one person. All these people you so confident in, not one of them want to settle down with you. Y'all be Ryan calling me and broke as hell want to pay all your bills. But if he got his own bills and he's paying them and he's living how he want to live, how is he broke? Because he don't want to pay. It seems like you're the one broke to me. Who pop off sis took that skeddy on a one way train to Burlington Throat Factory? Y'all see that? Fellas, don't get at her with that I can tie a cherry stem. She can change a tire, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Proof they'll keep talking even when they know that nobody's listening. I'm single because I have five kids. I know I have a kid. I don't need you to tell me that I have a kid. Half the time I want to shoot myself in the face, but I can't shoot myself in the face because I have a child. I don't want to do that. I didn't sleep last night and I'm really be quiet. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I'm a haddish kid. Don't care if he's here or not. But now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. So I just seen a post on Instagram that said, I'm in my quiet era. I have nothing left to say about anything anymore. It is what it is, was what it was, and life goes on. You know what? Yeah, same here. Because for so long, I've always been the type to over explain myself over and over again to somebody trying to prove my loyalty, my worth, my love for this person, whatever the case, whatever it was. Sending paragraphs, novels, and a lot of the time, that shit went to waste because sometimes people are so committed to misunderstanding you. Some people are just not ready to receive that. A lot of people aren't ready to, to take accountability because in hearing you out and hearing how you feel about something, that means they gotta look at themselves and own up to some shit. And a lot of people ain't ready for that, let's face it. It's not that I'm gonna just keep shit to myself, no, because I think that's toxic. I will always communicate myself and my feelings, but I'm gonna say that once. And maybe I might say it twice. But I ain't gonna keep saying it over and over again. You know what? You got it. You right.
I got nothing left to say. Because the fact of the matter is, if I were to do what you did to me, that shit wouldn't fly. A lot of people know what they're doing out here. I don't gotta explain myself over and over again for you to see that. You're not ready to take accountability? That's cool, but you're not about to waste my time. You're not about to learn yourself through me. Not like that. We good over here, baby. A thousand percent, right? But to think we landed in a world where you gotta ask people to treat you the way they'd want to be treated. Man, that's like second grade shit when I grew up. All right, guys, hey, go check out my coffee mug store. I got some cool designs in there. I made them all myself. And uh, we also have the Smack in the Wall merch store. So if you get a chance or you want to, go over there and check those out. The links are in the description. All right, y'all, let's see what I got for you today. I'm out here on the yard having a great time. I'm out here reading your guys' comments. And you guys are great. Man, I'm having a fucking great time with you guys. Uh, people from all over the world. You guys put funny ass comments. Fucking, you guys are some good ass people, man. I, it's crazy. I never really like thought about like, who my audience would be or like how they would be. But y'all are a great fucking time. I appreciate you guys so much. So hopefully we can keep it going. No end in sight. You know, YouTube. It's been a wild ride. They uh, they took us all over the place. It's been quite an adventure. And well, although you think something's gonna be easy. It's never actually easy. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of ups and downs. A lot of things happen, no matter how easy it may seem. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's been a great time. You know, to tell the truth, we probably make about, like, 800 bucks a month doing YouTube. So it's really that, you know, we have fun with you guys and we have fun doing it. And, well, maybe the future's a little brighter. We did get one of our, like, a, a brand deal. So we'll have an ad read pretty soon for the first time, which is pretty cool. But, um, you know, basically after taxes and after i split it with my friend that edits it that kind of started the dream with me it's like i had the dream but he said he was willing to do it and he's done it and man he does a great job he picks the titles uh, and the thumbnails a lot of times he adds the little sound bites and the movie clips and uh well we brainstorm together and you know I, I couldn't do without him i'm having a great time doing it with him too he's been one of my friends for like 20 years so i don't have any business partners in anything that i do and well it's been really fun to share this with them you know and then when i had those down moments i had someone to call and kind of you know sp uh, spread the stress so but yeah i just wanted to take a second to say you know i appreciate you guys so much and we're having a great time and it's so fucking insane to to know that i've talked i'm talking to people all over the world and well you know you guys are awesome you know you guys got some killer stories some of you guys are way cooler than me that's fucking cool so yeah i don't know maybe we'll figure out one day when to meet up i want to snowboard people sometimes so if you hit me with the email i might i might uh I might meet you on a mountain one day. That's for real. So, but uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. We're having a great time. Thanks so much. And uh, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to see you on the next one.